Uveal melanoma, also known as ocular melanoma, is a rare type of cancer that develops inside the eyeball. It is the most common eye cancer in adults, with only 7 out of every 1 million people being diagnosed each year. In some cases, the disease can spread, or metastasize, to other parts of the body. In this video, we will discuss the causes, symptoms, and potential complications of uveal melanoma. Melanoma is a type of cancer that starts in the cells that give color to your skin, hair, and eyes. When this type of cancer occurs in a specific part of the eye called the uvea, it is known as uveal melanoma. The uvea consists of three parts. The iris, which is the colored ring around the pupil. The ciliary body, a muscle beyond the iris that helps the eye's lens change shape. The choroid layer, which is the tissue between the outer layer of the eye and the retina, and contains blood vessels that bring oxygen and nutrients to the eye. The likelihood of the cancer spreading depends on which part of the uvea is affected. Metastatic uveal melanoma is more likely to occur if the original tumor was in the choroid or ciliary body, rather than the iris. When we talk about metastatic uveal melanoma, we're talking about a cancer that has spread from the eye to other parts of the body. About half of the people diagnosed with uveal melanoma will have it spread within the next 15 years, most commonly to the liver. But it can also spread to the lungs, bones, or brain. The good news is that there are treatments available that can help you live longer and improve your quality of life, especially if started early. If you suspect that your cancer has returned or spread, it's important to speak with your doctor to figure out the next steps. Uveal melanoma is a type of cancer that affects the eye. The exact cause of uveal melanoma is not known, but there are some factors that may increase your risk. Being older, with most cases diagnosed between ages 55 and 60. Having light eye color, especially blue, gray, or green eyes. Having pale skin. Having inherited skin disorders like dysplastic nevus syndrome or ocular melanocytosis. Having genetic mutations passed down from a parent, such as those affecting the BAP1 gene. Exposure to ultraviolet light from the sun or tanning beds may also increase the risk of uveal melanoma, but more research is needed to confirm this. You might be worried that you or a loved one has uveal melanoma. In the early stages, you may not have any symptoms, but your eye doctor may find the cancer during an exam. As the disease progresses, you may experience noticeable symptoms such as flashes of light in your vision, floaters, changes in your pupil, changes in how your eyeball fits into your eye socket, and blurriness or poor vision. If you're concerned about these symptoms, it's important to talk to your primary care doctor and get referred to a specialist. It's crucial to address cancer early, so don't hesitate to seek help if you notice sudden changes in your vision. Metastatic uveal melanoma can lead to various complications, even if it hasn't spread to other parts of the body. Some of these complications include Glaucoma, which is the increased pressure inside the eye. Symptoms may include eye pain, redness, and blurry vision. Retinal detachment, where the tissue at the back of the eye pulls away from its normal position and separates from blood vessels. Partial vision loss, which can occur even with small cancers. Complete vision loss, which may occur in advanced cases.